Hi, everyone. I'm Laurie Stone. And I'm Richard Toon. And um, maybe you're wondering why there are two of us here in this picture. You will find out in a little bit. Uh, first, I wanted to um, invite you to our class, which is called um, Five Things I've Learned About How to Write a Seductive Sentence. And then more after that. But let's just start with one. One of the things I, I that really bugs me is that um, writing coaches are constantly promising people to, you know, how to write a novel and how to write a short story, a novel, actually, or how to get the agent or how to get the book contract. And they never say, but but I, I could teach you how to write. So, you know, a sentence that other people would want to read. So that's why we're that's what we're going to do. We're going to really talk about five things that we think um can help you really think about your writing practice as an art practice. Jump in. And um, much of what Laura is going to, to say um, will be found actually on her substack. You, you, the, the thing is that Laura is a uh, innovative, uh, experimental writer in many ways. And um, what she's producing, I believe, is a sort of new form of a work of art. And it includes um, lots of elements of craft and form, which anyone could experiment with themselves. And that's what we're really trying to invite you to do. Right. And I'm here because I'm also heavily featured. <laughs> You're heavily La featured and we produce writing together. In Laurie's writing. At the yes. same time, in the same place. And we, we talk about it. And we'll talk about it with you guys. So um, so the deepest, truest part of this deal for me as a writer and what I want to tell you about is pleasure. So I think the absolute fundamental thing is that the writer needs to be feeling pleasure in the production of the piece. And that ne doesn't necessarily translate in and of itself into the reader experiencing pleasure as they read you, but it's very helpful. And as far as I'm concerned, what my goal is, is to produce a piece of writing that the reader can't really stop reading because they're feeling pleasure. Pleasure in a compli many complicated ways. Pleasure, the way that I would define it, is um, being surprised, being stumped, being like, what? you know, being left hanging sometimes or having suspense aroused, but not necessarily fulfilled in the conventional way. So when Richard talks about being an experimental writer, maybe that's in a sense, you know, at the heart of it is, and I'm going to do the five things because you'll also hear about how suspense maybe works into, I mean, there's nothing better than suspense. There's nothing more, there's nothing, a sentence has no better friend than something that's um, lodged in it that creates a oh, really for the reader. Well, then what happened? What 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 do you mean? Any nature of suspense of not necessarily filling everything in right away is going to help a sentence. Okay, the five things that we are going to. Uh, this is my checklist for how I know a piece is ready to go from my private experience into the world to be read. So there are five things. Um, start in the middle. What the hell does that mean? Fail to arrive. What the hell does that mean? Start in the middle. Fail to arrive. Remember to love something. Now, that's an easy one to uh, to to understand, I think. And then make the reader hot, excited, aroused, not necessarily sexually aroused, but that doesn't hurt. And make the reader laugh. Absolutely comedy. And we're going to we will talk in our class about how do you generate comedy? Where does it come from? And the monologue form that um, we're also going well, to Well, the talk monologue about. will also be a dialogue in which I will interject. Many of the questions that I'm sure anyone who's listening to this is already asking themselves. Right. Well, you and I will have a dialogue, but I'm going to offer the the, the people coming to the class um, the form of the monologue as uh, as this direct way of talking to the reader, where the voice of the writer comes through personal idiom. Let go of standard punctuation. Let go of standard grammar. You write. Right, you know, right think, right think talk. It's the it's that kind of energy of helping you get it. I really don't believe there's any such thing as a born writer. I really think this is a set of craft and form elements that we can offer you and teach you. It isn't magic, absolutely isn't magic. You don't need inspiration. I don't believe in these things. Um, but you can actually get better with your sentences the more conscious you are. What? 
I think that is done. We're, Are we done? We've said our piece. Okay, come. We will have fun with you. We really, really like to have fun talking about this subject. Bye.